Mm -mm. Hi everybody, it's Smiley. I'm back today for another video. So I am doing a quick review for these highlighters right here. It's a positive light. There it is. Positive light liquid luminizer. And it is the Rare Beauty line by Selena Gomez. I actually had these, as you can tell, for a while now. I don't know if y'all can see the tops that well, but anyway, I've had these for a while. I bought them not too long after she released her Rare Beauty line. And so I figured I would try it. And the first time that I tried it, I will say that I was very, I was disappointed. I was very underwhelmed. As you all know, I really love my highlighter, as you all may not know. But I really do love the highlighter by Laura Geller, and it's called Gilded Honey. And I'm in love with that. I use that a lot. There was a point in time where I didn't use highlighter at all. And it's kind of like one of those things like you don't realize what you're missing until you actually try it. And then you realize, wow, I've been missing this like for a while now. And now it's kind of like one of those things that you don't want to let go and that you always wear. So that's kind of how I've gotten about highlighter. I didn't wear it a lot at all at first. I just kind of did basic makeup like I've done here. Nothing special. And then I tried the highlighter and I just fell in love with it. So anyway, I initially tried these and I guess I was kind of expecting to get that same, that same bright, beautiful highlight that I would normally get with the Gilded Honey. But the highlight that I got with these was very just underwhelming and I felt like it underperformed in comparison to what I thought it was going to be. So when I first tried it on, I didn't do a video at the time and so I figured I would try it again today just to make sure because like I'm trying to kind of clear out all of my beauty stuff like things that I don't need or things that I'm not using. I just kind of want to get rid of those. So I just want to make sure, I want to give this a fair chance and a fair shot. And I'm like, well, maybe the first time, maybe it was me and I need to try it again and maybe try a different type of application. Maybe instead of, I think the last time I did it, I blended it in with the sponge like I normally use a sponge. So I am going to try again with a sponge today because maybe it was me. I don't know. And then I'm also going to try because I think Selena Gomez did a video where... She was applying these highlighters and she just kind of did her fingers to kind of melt it into the face. So I'm going to try both ways. I'm going to try it with the sponge and then I'm going to try it with my fingers and see what it looks like. Let me know if you all have tried these highlighters or tried these luminizers. I guess I'm using the wrong word. But let me know if you all have tried these luminizers and what you all think about them. Maybe it's my application. Maybe it's better if you apply it with a highlight brush or something like that. If that's the case, then let me know in the comments. But today is going to be kind of like my last chance on these to see if it works. And then try to give a solid review of it today. So I have two different colors. The first color that I have it is called Flaunt. And it's kind of like your regular like yellow gold. And then the other color that I have is more of a rose gold and it's called Transcend. Trying to get it to show up. I don't know if y'all can read it, but it's more of a rose gold. Transcend is more of a rose gold color. So we're going to try both of these on. I'm going to do flaunt on this side. And then I'm going to do transcend on this side. Normally when I put my highlighters on, I'll do like a streak. But when I saw Selena Gomez put it on, she did just kind of like dots. So I'm going to try a streak on this side and then on this side, I'll just do the dots. I'll use my hand on this side and then a sponge here. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. So I'm just going to let that sit like that for a second dot down so and 
And I'm not sure if it needs dry time or anything since it is a liquid. I don't know if it has to sit for a little bit, but just kind of. Especially since the other highlighter that I use, it's a powder. So it doesn't have to dry down or anything like that. So and I feel like this side, I can probably start to kind of blend my fingers. And I'm going to use, I'm gonna have to use my right hand because my left hand is kind of janky. It doesn't have the best control. And I don't want y'all to see me struggling like that on YouTube. So... It's a mess. I'm gonna probably have to go back in with my sponge on this side. And maybe that's the problem. Maybe we're looking at this or, yeah, maybe we're looking at this as being a highlighter and it's not necessarily a highlighter, but it's just something to kind of um, give a nice subtle glow to the face. Well, clearly, using your fingers to apply it is probably the best method because I don't know how well it's gonna really blend with the sponge. It doesn't seem to be blending as well. Hmm. Okay, so it did blend with the sponge, but I feel like it blends a little bit better with your fingers. Honestly, I don't know where it went. I'm sorry. I'm, okay, so I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be funny, but like, I don't, I don't know where the highlight went. I don't know where the luminizer went. Looking at my face, this side doesn't look any different from my left side, really. And I mean, most of my face, like, I have kind of like oily skin anyway. So some of that shine and all that, I kind of already have a little bit of a shine and a sheen to my face. Like, I see this side shiny. I see shine already in my nose and I didn't put any highlight on it or any luminizer on it. So like honestly my face is shiny in other areas anyway, but let me know, like do y'all see anything? Does anybody see anything to indicate that I have anything other than foundation on my face? Just don't know. Like in person, this really just does not. It doesn't do anything. So I personally am just not seeing it. And maybe, maybe I'm expecting more out of this product than what I should be or something. I don't really know, but it's not really doing what I expected. So I think I'm just gonna throw this away. I'm gonna throw this away. So I'm sorry, I know most, I'm gonna tell you this, okay? So granted, the fact of the matter is, the truth of the matter is, if every single product review that you do is positive, then people are not gonna necessarily trust your opinion. So, you know, we have to be honest. If a product is not good, we have to say that. If a product doesn't do what we expect, we have to say that. So. We can't sit up here and act like every product is perfect, every product is good. I know up to this point, a lot of the products that I've tried, I really liked. I honestly did like them. This one, this one I do not like. Let me know in the comments down below if you had different results or if there's some kind of suggestion that you all can make regarding application or if it just didn't work for you all either. Let me know that in the comments down below too. So that's the end of this video. 
Thank you all again so much for watching. Thank you all again so much for supporting. Stay safe and stay healthy. Stay safe. Be healthy. And I will see you all for my next video. Bye.